Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. Ah, uh, we've got the sunshine, but before we get to weather, I want to talk about what I've seen today. Probably the highlight of my day, the highlight of my week, the highlight of my year, because it's the funniest video I've seen all year. Check this out. This was outside a home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <laughs> There's a dog looking out the front door, and look what's out the front door. It's this groundhog, and he is munching on a pizza. <laughs> I mean, this is quality food right here. That poor dog's behind. Them. And look, he, the groundhog's just staring at the dog. Look, dog, look what I got to eat. <laughs> He's just munching away. And not just one dog, then another dog comes up there to wonder what's going on. And they both are checking it out. <laughs> the groundhog's not even moving, man. He's just moving his, his jaws. He's just munching away at that pepperoni pizza. <laughs> That's a bold move right there. He's really bold when he's got that glass door in front of him. What would have been really funny is if, <laughs> if the, the video continued on and whoever was taking the video opened the door <laughs> and let the two dogs out. I would, have, I would have loved to have seen the groundhog's face with those, with those two dogs barreling at him, going for that bed. That, that groundhog was bold, man. <laughs> the glass door. I love that video. Anyway, we've got a little bit of time. I'm talking just a little bit of traffic on 41, so people looks like they're staying. More of them are staying home today. Uh, they're not staying home, or at least they're not staying off the Blue Bridge, although the traffic is moving into Owensboro, but they're taking turns on the Blue Bridge. Not much of a wind out there. You can see that from the steam on the stacks at OMU, and a barge working its way around the bend. That is, of course, downtown Evansville from Fifth Third Banks, where we have that camera. It's 47 degrees. Wind is calm. Now, the wind is only going to pick up a little bit from the southeast today at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Look how low the temperature is up to... Can we do a run? Oh, I don't, I don't see a 45. Man, man, that would have been a good run, too. 42, 43, French Lick, 44 degrees, Vincennes, no 45, 46 degrees in Jasper, 47 here in town, 48 Santa Claus, 49 Henderson, 50 in Morganfield, 51 Owensboro, 52 Fordsville, 53 degrees in Madisonville, and it's also 53 degrees in Harrisburg. Anyway, it's National Orchid Day. Check this out. This was one of three orchids that Angela Hancock sent to me. Just absolutely stunning looking flowers there. Look at that multicolored one. I mean, it's like, Part like fuchsia or magenta there, a little bit of pink in there with the white, lovely flower there. Thank you, Angela, for sending that my way. We also had a frosty start to the day today. And these are frost on the blades of grass. Really cool shot. This is from Appy Woodward. She lives just inside of Ohio County. I mean, it's really close to Fordsville, but about halfway between Whitesville and Fordsville. But you can see the frost forming on the blades. That's a cool shot. Another cool shot, too, from Illinois of the frost this morning. Look at this. This is on a barbed wire fence. So you've got like, it's so easy to see like the shards of frost. So you've got like spiky frost there on the spiky barbed wire fence. That's an excellent shot with the sun rising above the horizon. So you know that frost isn't going to last too much longer. Great one. That's from Hicks, Illinois. Kurt Davis got that shot. Thank you to everybody who sent me in shots of the frost and all the other stuff, the orchids too. Just a lot of good fun. Anyway, we've got nothing showing up on our live first warning Doppler radar here in the tri-state. But if you travel to the north, you don't have to go very far. Up around Terre Haute, they're getting a little bit of rain there. So between here and Indianapolis, not much. Just a few showers that are out there and it's starting to dissipate a little bit anyway. We are getting a few extra clouds north of the Ohio as a result of that system. But at the same time, breaking up a lot of sunshine for most all of us for the rest of the afternoon. Then more clouds move in later on tonight as we have our next rainmaker. And this one looks like a decent rain, too. Now, we're going to be seeing the rain still off to the west. It looks like at 6 o'clock, pretty much right along the Wabash River, though not long after that, and then pushing across mainly northern sections of the tri-state as we go through the morning. By the afternoon, we're going to start to see a little bit more rain developing down to the south in western Kentucky, and that's where the best chance for rain is going to be later in the afternoon and the evening before it tapers off overnight as we head into Saturday. And Saturday, we should clear up, and it's going to be a pretty good-looking day on Saturday. Rainfall amounts, I think, a little bit more plentiful than what our future tracker is cranking out, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch, but a decent dousing, nothing great. High today, mid to upper 50s, with a mix of sunshine and clouds, and we're going to be seeing a cool southeast wind at around 5 to 10, but really giving us a break. It was a blustery day yesterday. Yesterday. It'll be a blustery day tomorrow, too, so be nice to get a break from the wind. Temperatures stay in the 50s over the next couple of days. Good chance of rain tomorrow. Looking good on Saturday. Slight chance of rain on Sunday. And Angie, there it is. The big 7-0, 70 yeah. degrees on Tuesday of next week. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this about. beautiful picture from last All night in Livermore. All your pictures are fabulous. I'm like, they're not mine. They just give them to me, and I'm Look glad that, that they do. Holly it's... Johnson took this. I love how the big oak tree right behind you kind of frames that picture. And look how it drapes down. I love how it drapes down over top. It looks top. like an oil painting. It truly does. It really does. It's a beautiful shot here from Holly Johnson in Livermore, just down the road from Rumsey. Just down the road from Rumsey, Calhoun. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this.